burrowers, the little ones who sing to the soil. My people, all gone. You tell your shepherd she's welcome to everything in my possession. All the weapons and food and medicine. All you need to keep fighting. Watch your hide, Kian of Clan Alvane. These are dark times, and you're at the heart of it all. Well? Why are you still here? Go! Go! May the soil be ever soft under your feet, Apostle. The fate of worlds falls on you now. He's guarding the door to that house. This must be where that Azadi officer meets his... his girl. Hey! Did you find that turncoat you were looking for? I did, thanks to you. Did you kill him? I did not. He's in our custody. You should kill him. He's a traitor. Well, sometimes even traitors deserve second chances. Really? Huh. Are you on another mission? Perhaps. I'm sorry, boy, but I'm quite busy. Let me help. The boy might prove useful, but I don't know how yet. I won't put him in any more danger than absolutely necessary. The boy might... I don't need help right now, but I'll let you know when I do. Sure. It's not like I have anything better to do. I'm sandwiching to your exact orders. What are you doing, friend? Are you stealing from me? Surely you're no thief, a tall, strapping fellow like yourself. What can I do for you, friend? Would you care for a tasty sandwich? Your sign says sandwiches and fire flowers. Ah, yes. Used to be I made the best fire flowers in Old Town. Spectacular things that lit up the night sky. Sparklers and illuminations, crackers and flyers. But no more, I'm afraid. Alchemy apparently falls under the definition of magic these days, and is therefore strictly forbidden. I can make you a savoury sandwich, though. Guaranteed sand and witch free. Even if I was hungry, those sandwiches sound dubious. I'll have one of your sandwiches. Brilliant! Step right over here, friend, to my sandwiching table. S now, will that be on fried flatbread, steamed yeast bun, or a baked grain roll? I really have no idea. What was that? I'm quite sure this is un... Grained rake bowl? Raked rain roll... Grain roll baked... Balance! Baked grain roll! That's it! <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Hey, don't touch that! It's delicate alchemy, and you're likely to blow your hands off. If that happens, the Azadi will shut me down and lock me up. Something tied you over for 14. Midnight snack. Tiny toad testicles. A common alchemical ingredient here in the north. This stuff is similar to our black powder, except it burns longer and slower. It's a potent explosive that can act as both muskets and fire I've got tasty sandwiches. Have you changed your mind? Do you want my help now? He might actually turn out to be useful to me. You want to help? Yeah. Even if it's dangerous? What do you think? Uh, what do you know about fireworks? You mean fire flowers? I know everything. 
My father makes Bakshivan candles for the festival of turning every year. Fine. Follow me. Yes! Mercurius foremost sandwicher here. Ready? Can I tempt you with a sa- I'll have one of your sandwiches. Brilliant! Step right over here, friend, to my sandwiching table. Now, meet. Today, I have a cured elguan, pickled saltwater snapjaw, and kitten carpaccio. We sometimes had boiled el one bite from a fully grown saltwater snapped kitten. We... How's the Elguin? Suspiciously tender. Thinly sliced, salted and cured for a minimum of 11 years. Melts in your mouth it does. Eventually. I'll likely regret it. As long as you don't swallow for at least 7 minutes, you'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> and just a dash of this, and a dash of that, and some of this, and a bit of that. Quickly, grab be hungry, those ingredients. You better not be fed Can the you? sandwich made. Thief! Get away from there, you little bastard, or I'll call for the city watch. I've got eats from across the Northlands, from far away as a deer. Hello again. I've even... I'll have one of your... Brilliant! Step... I perform my sandwiching over here. Not there, but right here. Sunny side gets cheese, and the other one gets meat. A sandwich maker's craft is, uh, something, something... Feet! How about some fermented moon seeds with that? That does not sound particularly anything to... Yes, please. Splendid. Get the chemicals. Right, here we are, as ordered. Mostly. I had to make a few alterations. Remember to chew well and don't swallow too soon. Also, if you feel any discomfort whatsoever, a spoonful of vinegar should do the trick. If not, please visit a physician post-haste. How was that? That was perfect. But remember, stealing is wrong. You told me to steal. In this case it was justified. But don't steal. You'll lose a hand or, or your head. Here's the stuff. You said your father taught you how to make fire flowers. Well, uh, sort of. He made Bakshivan candles, and I watched him make them. But he never let me do it myself. Said it might blow my fingers off or burn my eyes out. But I can give you instructions. Fair enough. What do I do first? First make the glowy balls. I don't know exactly how to make the glowy balls, but when my dad did it, the balls came out all glowy. to make the fire powder somehow. My father was never too clear on how that part's done. All I know is that it's powder that went psst when it was lit. All that's left is to combine all the ingredients in a tube. That should be easy, right? You start with the fire powder at the bottom. My table's always open. And then the glowy balls on top until the tube is full. 
That looks okay. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but there's only one way to find out. For me? What's in it? It's not fish eggs, is it? Oh, I hate fish eggs. This is good. This is great. What is this? I don't care. It's awesome. Thank you. I haven't been this full since the, the last time Mum made me dinner. Here you go, boy. Now don't light this before I tell you to. Oh, man! I'll be careful. I promise. I can't wait to see how this one burns. Use the fireworks to distract the guard away from that door. Yes, yes. Hey, hey! Check this out. Too Stop. slow! Come back here, you little shit! What in Shadow's name are you? He won't hurt you again, child. I promise. Leave. Do not come back. Oh, my head's hurting. Why is my... What's happening? Uh, who are you? Where's Ramin? Wh why am I tight? Alfani, you're not dead. Oh, in Shadow's name. I, 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 I'll pay you. I'll make you wealthy. I'll get you a pardon from the tower and- Shut your mouth. I need information. What do you mean by If that? you speak out of turn again, I'll cut off your dick and shove it down your throat. The raid tonight. I don't know anything about a raid. He will lie. Unless I show him what happens when he... I cannot justify torture. I'll have to convince him to talk to me. He... Goddess. No. No! I was the Apostle. I brought pain to our enemies. In return, they confessed. And converted. Without fail. <sighs> if I was trained to make the devout denounce their own gods, do you not think I can make a goddessless child molester reveal his secrets? Please. Please, no more. I'll tell you everything I know. There will be a raid on the magic ghetto tonight. Before sunup. Commander Vamon is leading the unit himself. They have a list. Magicals. Uh, humans who've aided the resistance. Suspected collaborators. It's a long list. They're planning to round up most of the magicals. Take them to the islands. Some... Some... They're just going to kill. Their families. Their homes. They'll be burned to the ground. It's retaliation for what happened at the keep. For the weapon shipment. Vamon wants everyone to know there will be consequences to the rebels' actions. That everyone will suffer because of the resistance. Let's go over this again. Tell me everything you know. Please. Don't kill me. 
I won't tell anyone about this. Uh, about you, I, I can't. They'll... They'll execute me. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll spy for you. I, I'll feed you information from inside the tower. Just... Just spare me. Please. For the love of the goddess, I beg you. He has much to lose if he reveals what happens here. But I can't risk it. There's always a risk that he will reveal what happened here. But if I spare his life, he could be of value to us. Betray me, and the tower will know what you did. Even if they spare your life, I will find you. And I will make you pay. Yes, yes! I swear, on the first mountain, I won't speak a word of this. I'll, I'll give you all the information I come across, everything! You'll return to this place every week to meet an agent of ours. Your guard will believe you still visit your... your girl. Of, of course, Apostle. Thank you. Shut up before I cut your tongue from your mouth. I'll release you now. But you'll stay here until your guard knocks on the door. We'll know the instant you break your oath. Where's the guard? He's in a mud cellar. Stuck to his knees in Elgwyn dung. He'll be busy for a while. You did good, Bip. What happened in there? Did you get what you needed? I did. Listen, you can't stay here in Old Town. The Azadi are coming. I'm not afraid of the Azadi. Nevertheless, you need to leave. I'll bring you to the Enclave and you'll be safe with... But I'm not going anywhere. This is where I live. What if my parents come back? They'll be looking for me. You're not safe here. I'm sure your parents would be happier knowing you're with us. You just want to put me in an orphanage. Wait. Shadow. Children. The General is asking questions. I've heard. We must find Kian before... I'll make sure Hami's attentions are directed elsewhere. Tonight's raid on the Magic Ghetto will be a good start. What did he say? The General tells me that my men are sticking to the story, but that some of the prisoners are spreading rumors. It's of little concern. They will not live to see another interview. And arouse more suspicion? Don't be a fool, Vermon. Don't ever call me a fool. Then try not to act like one. Who else did he speak with? The Warden. What? I thought you were taking care of that problem. You're the one who worries about arousing suspicion. I couldn't simply have him executed. There are laws. And now the General has a witness. An infidel's testimony can never be used against Trueborn. But his words can fuel further investigations. The General will soon have other matters to concern himself with. We're stepping up the deportations and we're close to completing the machine. After that, Kian's death will be low on his list of priorities. And in the meantime, the General is pursuing leads. Like I said, tonight's raid will distract him. How so? Because it won't go well. The rebels will strike, many of his men will die, our forces will be on high alert, and, as Supreme Commander, it'll be Hami's job to clean up. He will blame you. And I will take responsibility. And action. There will be little time for his investigations. By the time the situation is under control again, other matters will have taken precedence. We will keep the General's attentions elsewhere until our mission here is done. And then, no one... No one will challenge us. I hope you're right. I always am. Come here. This is not the time for... I'm as hard as Nigali steel. This is exactly the time. I apologize for being late, but I have important... Every minute wasted could mean lives lost. Enu, can you tell us what you've learned? Not a whole lot. No one's talking. There's not even a whisper of a raid. I'm starting to think maybe Ulvik's loose-lipped, drunken Azadi was merely a braggart. 
Also, merely a braggart. I've been around you guys too long. I'm starting to speak like a sullen warrior. I went looking for our people in Old Town. They're standing by for my word. I don't want to pull them out of the city until we know for sure what's happening. Let's hope for their sake Anu's right, and there's no raid tonight. The raid is taking place, just before sunrise. We still have several hours. How did you come up? Hey, Big Blue, let him speak. The plan is to arrest as many magicals as possible, along with rebel sympathizers. It's a show of strength. They want us to be scared. Where did you get this information, Kian? From a trusted source. I met her here before we... Mystery Woman! I remember Mystery Woman! Well, I remember you talking about Mystery Woman. She's a friend of Ulvik's, right? We can definitely trust her. She told me about an Azadi officer who... visits with an underage Dalmari girl. And she told me where to find him. He was... He was with a child? That's... Th that's sick. And did you find him? I did. They'll be coming into the ghetto from the north and the east, and they'll have a ship blocking all traffic in and out of Shady Quay. He told me that this will be their biggest raid on the ghetto so far. Given his rank and the precariousness of his situation, I believe him. How did you get him to reveal all that? I did what I had to do to make him speak. He was in no state to tell lies. Did what you had... wait. You tortured him? That's how you got the information? I... We don't do that! Do we? I would have done the same. Color me not surprised. It sounds like your intelligence is to be trusted, Kian. We'll prepare for the raid, and I'll tell our people to abandon Old Town. Where is the officer now? I let him go. He might prove a valuable asset in the future. Will he not simply go straight to his masters? I have information that would lead to his execution. Should his commanders learn the truth, he'll keep his silence. But you let a child molester walk free. Was that because he's one of yours? And because the Domari girl is just another filthy magical? I won't soon forget this insult, Azadi. For what it's worth, Kian, I think you did the right thing. I mean... He deserves punishment for what he did to the girl, but to have a source inside the tower? This could change everything. <sighs> well, at least now we know what's happening tonight. So much for my sources. We've been waiting for a chance to show the Azadi we're not running scared. We have magic. Potent magic. Magic that goes boom, big time. And maybe... Maybe we can reduce their numbers. Blow a few of those dogs to their precious first mountain. I just wish you hadn't tortured him. Some things are just not okay. But at least you let him live. That was definitely the right choice, even if Liko will never agree. Boy, he hmm. really doesn't like you, does he? Who's there? You? However did you get here? 